I know for a fact some of you saw the thumbnail for this and got a little tingly feeling inside. Guess what? When the temperatures drop, we heat up. This one's gonna be all about the live blog. I'll take you a little bit behind the scenes, what the purpose is, how it started, all that fun stuff. And who knows, maybe a couple of announcements later on in this little show that I do for the, the heck, 14th or 15th time in 2019. Good morning again, Daniel Valdez again. It is a pleasure and an honor and a privilege to talk to you again, whether you're listening through the YouTube page or you're listening on Apple Podcasts. The Apple Podcast app, yes, they give those things to anybody. I'm living proof. Awesome to talk to you all. Live vlog stuff. Almost every single day, I get messages from people asking where we're going to be, how does it work, a lot of stuff. Uh, we've been working on it, trying to secure things, trying to make sure that, you know, we give you all correct information, trying not to jump the gun or anything like that. Uh, so this is kind of the one where we, uh, kind of not let everything out, but, uh, uh, you know, just kind of talk about the live blog because this is something we're really, this is clearly our bread and butter. <laughs> We've been doing this for over a decade, going to events for many, many years. I think this is gosh, 13th, 14th year we've done it and it's changed over the years. <laughs> it's changed a lot over the years in terms of uh, not necessarily how it looks, but uh, how we kind of, how it kind of goes, uh, how everything goes down on the back end, you know, just making sure that the information is up uh, properly, securely, all that stuff. So let's talk about it. First of all, first of all, next week starts the BOA season, September 21st in McAllen Regional. What does that mean for everybody listening here? And I know we got some new listeners uh, within the last uh, week or two. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Glad to talk to you all. Uh, welcome. Thank you for listening. Uh, next week, BOA season starts. So guess what? We're going to be back on schedule here with the nerd in. We call these little shows the nerd ins. Why do they call that? Because I go over every single little detail about the contest. I talk about programs. I say programs names and then they tag me and stuff on social media. That's basically how it works. Uh, we'll talk about brands to watch out for, any pertinent information about the stadium, history of the contest, just all sorts of stuff. It's coming back next week. We'll go over schedule. We'll go over all that fun stuff. Those are pretty popular. So I hope you will join me for that. And then after the event, we'll do the, uh, the cherry on. Basically reviewing the contest, looking at numbers, looking at trends, and basically geeking out and then getting ready for the next event. And it's going to be lather, rinse, repeat all the way until the end of November. So I hope you'll join me. I hope you will uh, indulge me and lend me your ear or even two ears. That'd be swell of you. Uh, <laughs> and we'll get all that stuff done. Live blog stuff. Oh my goodness, it's back. When did this start? Well, like I said, it started over a decade ago. Uh, we used to pack up our laptops and have extra charging cords and all this stuff. And we would go, you know, get there to the events as early as possible, stand in line, and then we you know, we purchase tickets and because it's all general admission seating pretty much. And then when it was time to open the gates, the gates would open. We'd kind of hustle up to the 50 yard line as close to the top of the stadium as possible on the lower level. And uh, we'd set up shop. We'd have our laptops open. We'd open our chat client, make sure everything's working, maybe do a quick test. And it's basically self-sustaining for the entire event. It's bas that's basically how it is. We open it up and then we start reviewing. By the way, the little, uh, when you go to this very special website, and I hope you'll save it in your, you might as well save it in your phone, might as well save it in your browser, because I know, you and I both know, you're going to be looking at this thing all season long, live.texasbands.com. That is where the live blog will be housed uh, for the season. So if you want to follow along with us, uh, most people... Uh, that view our live blog are either in the stands, which I love walking by and looking on the phones and, and you know seeing our website up. It makes my heart melt. 
Either people have already paid for a ticket and they're in the stadium, or they've already paid for a Flow Marching subscription. And they're using our blog as a supplemental guide as they, uh, as they watch bands. Now, granted, there are a few people that can't make it to the event and, you know, uh, uh, don't have a Flow subscription, so they kind of follow that along exclusively. But I can tell you from numbers and charts and pie graphs, mmm, pie, that the majority of people that view the live blog are people that are, are you know, they're already watching at home or they are in the stands. So there's that. <sighs> So we would go up to the stands and we'd pop our stuff open and we'd just start reviewing. The idea of the live blog is to create a positive experience for every single program that goes on. It is all positive. We review, we tell you what we see, we do live reviews right then and there. The goal is to get pretty much all of our information done, all of the review done very shortly after the program, each program ends. Because we want to be able to make it, you know, we want to be able to flow, we want, we want the blog to flow pretty evenly. Like, unlike that last sentence I just said. <laughs> it's early, leave me alone. Uh, we usually grab a photo from the stands, usually just of a big drill set, uh, something that, you know, that's, that's super interesting, big impact moment. And then we just start talking. We will consult our. We will consult with ourselves and each other about either privately or we'll we'll kind of talk to each other in the stands about what we saw, something we missed, or anything like that. You know, we love kind of bouncing ideas off of each other and uh, you know making sure that the import that the big impact points and the the really neat stuff, whether it's props or a big guard moment or a big brass moment or a good movement feature. We want to make sure all that's covered because we are of the mindset that every program deserves their moment in the spotlight. Every section deserves their moment in the sun. It does not matter how much you spent on your marching show. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter uh, how big your program is. It does not matter whether you're, you're participating in a Bands of America or a regional event for the 1,000th time or for the first time. Everybody gets their due. It's as simple as that. You want the negative stuff, go somewhere else. We're choosing positivity here. And all, all the sassy people just kind of stood up and went, hmm, I remember that. That's how the live blog works. And, you know, it's basically just point and shoot. We just go and type and type and type. Then, uh, you know, we do the same thing for, <clears throat> we do the same thing for finals, basically. And it's a little bit of a shorter version in finals because we do like to hang back and kind of watch the shows and really analyze it. Uh, you know, sometimes when stuff's going on, we're typing and trying to keep up with the show at the same time. It's a lot of plates spinning, especially if it's one person doing it. And there are times when it's only one person doing it. That's why we, tr we don't necessarily announce what events we're going to be at until a little bit closer to the event because, you know, there are times when we don't know what time, we don't know who exactly is going to be at what event. And then there, there are life schedules, there are work schedules that need to be worked out. Uh, by the way, and we get this, we get this question a lot, how much do you all get paid for this? Uh, we don't. <laughs> Everything that gets donated to the website, texasbands.com slash donate, Everything that gets donated to the website goes directly to the website. 100% of the proceeds, anything you want to donate, goes directly to paying for server costs and just making sure that the, the website is, is running properly. That's it. When we travel to these events, we use our own money. When we have lodging, when we need lodging at these events, we use our own money. Uh, gas, airfare, if that's needed, we use our own money. That's true. Uh, I don't think we've ever, uh, with probably 100% certainty, we've never taken a set to pay for any of these trips to go on or whatever. It all go, all the money goes to the website, so if you want to throw in a little donation there during the season, we usually do a big donation drive after the season, especially during the end of the season when we get to Super Regional and we get to Grand Nationals. But if you want to throw a little our way, by all means, we'll put it to the website so that way we can keep this going. Uh you know, we can keep this going for a very long time. Good old live blog stuff. I can announce next week, McAllen Regional. 
the live vlog will be there. We haven't been there in a while, <laughs> but the live vlog will be there. Uh, Mr. Daniel Sanchez, one of the guys who has been a staff member on TexasFans.com for, for basically since the beginning, uh, he will be heading, he will be running point on the McAllen Regional. He is awesome. He is fantastic. If you're at the McAllen Regional, please make sure he is fed. Please make sure he is hydrated. Yeah, the temperatures drop, but it's still South Texas. What I mean by the temperatures dropping, it will go from 105 degrees to 100 degrees. It's still hot as hell. We need to make sure he's taken care of. So if you're in the stands at the McAllen Regional, make sure he is taken care of. Whew. McAllen Regional. It's coming up. Live vlog stuff. This is such a treat to do. It's so awesome. By the way, if you see us in the stands and we're at your event, we're doing the, we're in the stands. By all means, come up, say hi to us. We love, 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 love talking to people. Even if it's just a quick hello, or you want to sit down and you know gab about the programs for a little bit. We are more than what we indulge it. We welcome it. Come on up. We'd love to talk to everybody who's who's passionate, who's as passionate about the activity as we are. Uh, it happens every year. We love it. It's awesome. Our supporters are the best. There have been people that have followed our live blog since the very beginning. There are people that are just now finding out about this that are going to that are going to love it. I promise you. We get we we make it we make it educational. We make it uh, entertaining. We make it funny. Uh, that's basically my job because I'm a big goof. Uh, but we're so excited about the live vlog. It's a smash hit every single year. We love when the word gets out to other programs. We love hearing back from programs after the event. If we said something really nice, I mean, there have been times when, you know, people post stuff that we said about their program on the live blog they post that stuff in their band hall and it becomes like motivational material and that when we see photos like that and we we get letters or not letters nobody i don't think anybody's written us a physical letter before uh because there's nowhere to send it uh, <laughs> um uh they'll post it in the they'll post stuff that we've written in the band hall and they'll send us photos of it and like hey thanks for the shout out we're, we're always blown away it's a very, very humbling experience. Uh, I can tell you that from personal experience. It's, it's, it's such a great thing. Our supporters are the best. Everybody listening to this is wonderful and awesome. We cannot wait to bring you another season of the World Famous Texas Bands live vlog. It will be at McAllen Regional. And I'm going to go over the McAllen Regional next week with the Nerdin. Yes, it's back. A complete complete 360 view of the entire event. Nobody does it like us. We've been doing it for a long time. The numbers speak for themselves. We are so happy to bring it to you again. And I hope you're ready because we're really, we're really going to push it this year. And at select events, who knows, maybe there might be a, a, a Q and a on, uh, on our Facebook page. Best ways to communicate with us. Go to the, go to live.texasbands.com during the live blog stuff. Make sure to visit the texasbands.com forums. There's plenty of information there. Uh, if you're on social media, Facebook. Uh, go to the Facebook page, texasbands.com Facebook page. Uh, lots of stuff, lots of good stuff there. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, please at me, at Dan I'd uh, be happy to uh, engage with you there. I think we're done here. Just a quick update, just like I said, history and just going over basic stuff about the live blog. We're going to really push it this year. We want people to participate in it. We want people to spread the word. We want people to engage with us and, and uh, read all the fun stuff that we've got to say all through the season long. Our staff, our contributors are the best. Tons of knowledge, tons of nerd knowledge. This is it. Nobody does it like us, and we're proud to bring it to you again. I want to thank you all for listening. Uh, I look forward to talking to you all next week. McAllen Nerdin, it's coming. South Texas style, we are ready. And if you're not ready, I feel very, very sorry for you. I'm done here. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.